Moi Maru, of course, uh, the likes of uh, Daniel Takuma Kusen, uh, Tumaka Kusen, Samuel Chebole Masai, and now we are off. This is the 10,000 meters men final. And straight on, we'll be looking at these guys in the orange bib. Seems to be from the same team. It's like three teams being represented in this one. But ultimately, we are looking for who will finish in the top positions. Yes, we do have uh, some kids from the Kenyan Defense Forces. Uh, we have included the last week uh, some athletes uh, uh, from the Of course, will be all eyes will be in, uh, on uh, Kibiwot Kandie, who has a very, 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 very unique way of uh, doing this. And of course, um, there is uh, Daniel, Daniel Simbiu Ebenyo, um, the current national champion, won here two weeks ago in the 10,000 meters. He's the current national champion. He says that he wants to make sure that gold comes to Kenya. I don't know what his chances are, but let's wait and see. Remember in May, Kip Kano Class 61, the 10 pounds rest. And uh, since then, he went to South Africa and won the given bat. So he's quite a young lad who's doing well. Uh, my worry with athletes who do a lot of rest is in one particular day, he has just six months, someone has done four months. Uh, there might be an issue of you know, basically, you know, we all have to accept that these are bodies and human bodies. So, and that's the reason why it's a great athlete, like Kip Toge, uh, Eliud Kip Toge, who do maybe a race or two in a year. So there's also that danger of getting athletes doing so many races in a year. Of course, uh, doing so many races uh, makes fat fatigue creep in, and of course, uh, tired legs out there but they have a month to go i think after this they maybe some of them will be taking some time out championships in <laughs> in budapest a little tri a little bit of a, a hitch there from kimeli i think he tripped himself uh pretty bad but that's that, that's expected you know uh depend on the course uh depend on the focus and uh, also the pace you know but uh we've seen athletes actually falling down waking up and still coming to win races for it's a little bit of a hitch but it's okay it's normal it's, we, in this kind of conditions i mean that's expected to with uh, 600 meters to go in the 10,000 meters and you can see it's all about kimeli and simiu who's gonna carry the day of course i believe all of them gonna meet the time the qualification time for budapest but now it will be about the honors the bragging rights who wants it more and you can look at this one everyone Mew and uh, Kimeli, each one of them wants the space. Who's going to make it to the wire? With now 350 meters to go. Yeah, pretty much it's all about pushing right now. And with a lot of fans cheering them up, especially when they come to the center stand, uh, it's about pushing themselves. And with the bell now, we're going to see wonders. Uh, we're going to see athletes that are going down. And to me, if you ask me, the front three, they're taking it to the wire. Nicolas Kimeli and Simiu, it's one and two. But what Kibi Kandi has fallen way, way back into fifth. Will he catch up? I don't think so. It's 200 meters to go. This is the final of the 10,000 meters. Nicolas Kimeli coming back to ensure that everything is in his hands. Will he actually do what we've known him to do before? But then watch out for Daniel Simiu. He's trying really hard to ensure that he stays closer to Kimeli. But how will it happen? He has to beat him. It's 150 meters to go, heading to the home stretch. And of course, it is Kimeli or Simiu who will be taking this one home. But then look at Daniel Simiu, the national champion, coming from the, the outside. Is Kimeli ensuring that he takes this one home? We'll be looking at the time, of course. He's celebrating before he crosses the line. And that is it. Simiu and Kimeli, one and two, 27.20, will be confirming the time.